Hello! Monsters abound here, friends with all the animals. Apart from aardvarks, those fuckers know what they did. I will have my vengeance. Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2, Vortex Campaign, and part 10 of my Katep campaign. Uh, so, we, we are currently, we've managed to get a peace treaty with Master Mundi. He's no longer causing us issues for the moment, anyway. I, I don't, I trust him about as far as I can throw him. It's about that, and that's not very far. Even in his, he needs a floating chair. Out, out of his floating chair, as far as I can throw him, not very far. Very weak upper body, me. Bit like, I was going to say like a reverse Johnny Bravo, you know. Thin little stick arms, massive beefy legs, apart from not, basically I'm a stick man. S -s Good, okay, well that's that's worked that out. So I trust Masamudi about as far as I can throw him. And Tretch about the same, although Tretch is currently my BFF for some reason. Not not a big deal. Right, we're going to take on the Pits of Zardok. Um, I also need to... Uh, we're dealing with a little bit of rebellion, but we dealt with it fine. We're getting some building going on. That's very good. There's another Skull Island over here, which I am all about. Want that bad boy. So we're going to go and grab that. And once we grab that, I might... Oh, Lizardmen, Intervention, and Nagarond. I was going to... Oh, good. I was going to say... Odd choice. But actually, that does make sense. Hello, Tretch. What do you want? Defense? No. No. You know, one of these days, I might actually take it. And I bet you... <laughs> I bet you someone fucking declares war on him as soon as he does. As soon as I've taken that, someone will... I, I, I can just see it. I can see it. I can, I can legitimately... I know it's going to happen. So, yeah. Good. Um, there's also a book army wandering around. Hello, what's this? Uh, Wind's magic, less canopic jars. Uh, I mean, we've got quite a few canopic jars. I, I don't really... Mm. I'm, I'm not going to... No, I'm not... I'm, mm, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go for the... I'm not going to send the canopic jars. However, uh, we, we are going to have a a lord soon, aren't we? So I'm going to do that. Basically, two turns, we get another lord. Um, so let's carefully... Can we reach that? No. Can we raid? No. Maybe we just do something like that. Now, public order here is not great, um, but uh, it should be fine. Public order here, again, not great. Uh, we could do with some walls. I, could, I mean, I could spend this... I mean, that's going to pay itself back in 10 turns? Yes, 10 turns. Good, 10 turns. Yes. So, I mean, that's not bad, is it? I think that's worth it. We'll do that. We'll do that. And also, we've got now... Um, I could actually, like, go on the offensive here. It's it's a bit ballsy, but I think we're going to go for Arnheim. I mean, if we can sack Arnheim, how much money would we get? Where is a bog standard army? Um, how much money would we get? Come out, come out. The, are you recruiting? You're recruiting. Okay. What about you? Can I? How much money would we get? Uh, it's only a K. It's not great. It's not great, but it's something. I kind of want to get you in... I, I need a... Um, I meant to do some renaming and I forgot. Oh, God, I'm the worst. Literally the worst human in the world. Such a pro YouTuber. Look at me getting all the... Bosh. Hey, Abounders. That's your name now. Uh, don't forget to mash that like button. And... Oh, that's bad. That's That's very bad. That's the bad thing. Don't mash that like... Mash the dislike button. Don't mash the... <laughs> to be honest, I don't think it matters, but... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Nacron the cult of pleasure. Fuck. That's not good. Maybe you should be bound... Bounders? Does bounders make sense? I mean, none of it makes fucking sense, does it? Okay, well, let's just... Take the pits of Zardok. Bop you. I will... Occupy got the, the plane of spiders literally the worst plane in the world uh full of spiders you don't like that 
I want to go for that skull, but uh, we'll get that in a bit. Meanwhile, I'm kind of tempted to get rid of the chariots. Oh, we can get some tomb guard. I could, right. What I could do, it's going to take two turns. Oh, it just doesn't feel worth it. Okay, what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we'll get rid of some of these. And we'll get some of you. Do we have, we've got neck I feel like maybe getting rid of the chariot and replacing it with horsemen. Hmm. Okay, well, we can no longer go and attack Malekith. I was hoping to go and sack um, Marathi, but I'm not going to get that chance, am I? Oh, well done. Okay, you're marching. That's fine. What's your army like? It's quite nasty. Could be worse. Could be... Could be worse. The only problem is that this army is complete trash. I mean, this is, this is garbage army. Absolute garbage army. Not great against black guards. Do you have archers? You've got two archers. Uh, I mean, Cold one, dread knights. All that's bad. Um, we are going to have another army in one turn, though. Okay. Let's do something like that. I'm not going to worry about building anything there at the moment. Oh, we could give you a casket of souls. I'm kind of tempted to do that. Let's do that. Then you've got your... Now we've got three casket of souls. Is that too many? Is that an intervention of casket of souls? Possibly. You know, let's not rule anything out. Uh, let's get some more melee defense there. That sounds pretty good. Okay. Okay. It's a little bit problematic that we've got that army heading this way. Hey, no. I think Tretch might be on the way out. Um, he had a good run. He had a good run, but unfortunately, didn't didn't work out for him. Sad times, um, but you know, such is such is life. Okay, we've got the heralds empowered. That's another army. That is very fucking useful. So we can get. Uh, did we? Do I get you? I think we do. I think we're going to have to wait. Right, I don't know where their army is. Oh, ambush success chance, not good. I suspect they'll head in this direction. Maybe we can get the garrison to help. I think they're going to head for the ancient city of Quint. Uh, not the, uh, for the moon shard. They're going to head for the moon shard. That's my guess. You're still recruiting? Fuck me, hurry up. I don't have all day to sit around waiting for you to recruit stuff. I'm a, I'm a busy mummy. I've got tombs to dust? No, that are probably the opposite of dust. Like, make put more dust in. Add dust to. I've got tombs to add dust to. I can't sit around waiting for you all day. You dick. Okay, I'm hoping I get fucked. No, obviously he's gone in for an ambush. I'm hoping we can get um Oh, that would only take one turn. But the ambush. Oh, we could get more skeletons. Find my harm. Okay, what we're going to do? We're going to head for the moon shard. I'm going to do. I don't think they can reach me. So, my glory. archers. Yes. That. Yes. We've already got a carrion. Let's get rid of one of. Wait. Oh shit! That's going to take two turns. Oh no! I fucked it. I fucked up. Never mind. Not, not unusual for me. Uh, 
<laughs> Not unusual for me. Uh, okay, let's get uh, path protection. Sure. I kind of want to go on the offense. Like, I want to go for Storag Court. I think... <gasps> Wait, this isn't... Is this not... I thought all this was, was Tretch, but maybe it's not. How, wait, how many settlements have you got, Tretch? Does it... You've got four. One, two, three, four. Is none of this Tretch? I thought this was all Tretch. Me? Is it not? It's like it's free real estate. What am I waiting for? Um... Okay, there is an army there. We're going to lay a little ambush, see if we can lure it in. Fuck me! Right, so that's Black Guards, Cold One Dread Knights, Spiky Hydras and Hydras, and Sisters of Slaughter. This will fail. Well, that's fine. That's absolute. That's not a prop. What the f <laughs> fuck is that? Hey. Eh? What? What? What's the balls? You can't go running around with entire stacks of black guard for fuck's sake. Jesus. God, I don't even have like friggin' scorpion. I, like, I don't. I, I, I don't feel like I've like stinged on the growth. Okay, you come in, you come in, you come in. Ambush failed. Of course it failed. Never mind, we'll kill him anyway. I know what you're thinking. Monster abound. Are you corner camping? I, I, now, wait, now. I, I see to the layman how it might appear I am indeed corner camping. However, what I'm actually doing is retreating back to the edge of the map where two areas intersect. That's in it's an entirely different thing. It's not corner camping. Good. Okay. So now we've, now we've cleared that up. Uh, the enemy army is approaching and it is fucking terrifying. It's got it's got the hydras. It's got the spiky hydra, which is like a hydra, but spikier. Hmm, bit predator-like. It's got the predator things going on there. Uh, they've got Black Guard. They've got the, the Sisters of Slaughter. Someone said one of the units of Sisters of Slaughter earlier had 69 melee defense and I didn't say anything. And uh, I, I'm legitimately kicking myself now. <laughs> I'm legitimately, I'm very angry that I missed that. Fuck. Never mind. Okay. Uh, so because they're coming through the trees, we've got our little horsey mans. They are keeping an eye out for us. Obviously, we don't want to get caught. We can't see them at the moment. They're kind of hidden apart from the Hydras, of course. The Hydras can't hide. Um, so just keeping an eye out there. Um, but we do have three Casket of Souls. That's right. That's that's three Arcs of the Covenant we've got. It's, it's almost greedy, isn't it, to have three? You know, one's enough, surely. But no, we've got we've got three of the buggers. So the enemy army is approaching very, very slowly. And um, what am I going to do to to occupy you while we're waiting for, for the Dark Elves to slowly meander up to the range of our artillery that's a very good question i'm glad you asked because now i'm just continuing to try and think of things to say um ooh, trees eh and it's raining i bet that's you know soggy that's not a good day to have a battle is it you don't want to be soggy when you're having a battle i bet it's running down their necks right down the you know the the, the, the cleft of the buttocks that's got to be cold yeah i mean you know these ladies don't even have I get, is it do you think it's worse or better to be wearing much I mean, in some ways, I, ima I mean, I mean, imagine they get cold, though, don't they? Mind you, they live in the frozen north, so they must be used to it, you'd think, anyway. Um, still quite far away from the artillery line. Um, trees. Have we ever thought about trees? You know, what what are trees? Are they are they malevolent? Are they not malevolent? That's the, that's the question, and that's the question I'm asking right, right now. Still, still not that close. Um, so they've got crossbows in the front. Crossbows, they're a bit mean, aren't they? Don't like the crossbows. Armor piercing. That's the problem. Just just go straight through our armor. Uh, how much armor piercing have they got? Eleven. Fuck me. I think I've got one. What? I, I, you know what? Sex sells. So let's just watch the ladies. That's a bit. It's a bit sexist. Isn't it? What about we watch the men? Look at these sterling. I mean, I, I guess the dark elf, the black guard. They can be women as well, can't they? 
I don't think the Dark Elves particularly care as long as like you're very good at killing people. They're kind of like, you know, whatever. Equal opportunities at killing people. Right, finally, we are now in range of our artillery. Thank fuck for that. So now we, our artillery can start opening fire. Of course, we've got three of the buggers, so it's going to cause quite a lot of devastation. This artillery actually pretty bloody good. Trees, they are malevolent because they're blocking my artillery. Bastards. I knew they were in league with the Dark Elves. Kill the trees first. Burn them to the ground. They're, they're wet. They, they won't burn. Um, but already we've done some significant damage to the Dark Shards. Look at this. Look at that. Like half a unit dead in one barrage, despite the trees' protection. But now they're coming out of the trees, and yep, the Black Guard getting battered as well. This is all looking pretty good so far. We're doing quite a lot of damage here. My main issue is the Hydras, because we don't really have much to deal with the Hydras. We've got the Sepulchral Stalkers. They will be very, very useful. Um, but we do need, you know, to, to try and take out those Hydras somehow. They've also got the Cold One Dreadline. That's basically why I retreated back to... The, the, the intersection of two two edges of, of the battle map. Not a corner. Um, mostly because I didn't want them like flanking around behind me, because they would, and they would fuck me up. And I don't really have... I could use the Sepulchral Stalkers to maybe try and fend them off, but I felt it was better to to set up my army in two intersections of, a, of, the, of the edge of the, the map. Um, that's my decision, and I stand with it. So already we're doing quite a lot of... I mean, Jesus Christ! Holy shit, the guy holding the banner just got, like, smashed. He was off. Uh, yeah, a lot of these units actually taking quite a pounding from artillery. That's really, really good. We are... No, that didn't go so well. But we're doing a lot of damage to them. That's good. They are advancing with the Cold One Dread Knights. They're desperately trying to find a way to flank around, and they can't. So they're just going to get riddled with arrows. However, as you can see, the arrows not doing a huge amount of damage. They are slowly whittling them down, but they're just not, just not that good, unfortunately. Sepulchral Stalkers poisoning them. And they're going to charge into the Kepra Guard at some point. Um, and here come the Hydras. Now, the problem with the Hydras, of course, they have Fire Breath. So this is going to stink. Ow. Mother... That's... That's... Ow. Ow. That's like a third of our health in one shot. That's... That's bad time, Bear. Fortunately, the other Hydra does the same thing. Which doesn't do as much damage but does actually manage to kill some of our skeleton archers so you know bad times there we've got quite a large blob of the the black guard approaching over the top of this hill this seems like a good place to start shooting at people i think yeah no that really did that really worked out for me i enjoy that and their current horsemen coming back they were chased off by some sisters of slaughter but they're coming back now they're coming back there's jeff getting stuck in that's what we love about jeff he, he doesn't you know he's he's not he's not a desk giant skeleton statue he, he he wants to get out in the field and indeed here he is out in a field crushing dark elves beneath his foot that's right that's he, he doesn't drive a desk unlike katep who does drive a desk a bit like a dj oh, i would say like a dj but uh, someone's already stolen that idea that's right turin managed to steal my idea before i'd even had it god damn it never mind okay the hydras are a big problem they, they kind of hit our line on the right here they've managed to smash through and they're actually doing a lot of damage to the Sepulchral Stalkers. They're taking a lot of damage themselves. The enemy infantry, on the other hand, has been mostly melted by our artillery, who have been doing a lot, like 117 kills, 101, 79. Katep kind of like falling back, but maybe he doesn't want to... It's his first day on the Casket of Souls, isn't it? So maybe he doesn't want to like make it... You know, maybe he wants to like make a good impression with the existing... He doesn't want to get in there and, you know, be a... a fly, you know, a... a, a fly by no not a fly by night what am i thinking of like a flash he doesn't want to be a he doesn't want to be too flashy does he he doesn't want to like overshadow the others he wants to let them show themselves as well that's you know that's what that's just kind of kid guy could tap his a dusty skeleton mummy the hydra is getting lots of shot they come the sepulchral stalkers coming in to help against the war hydra there we go they are now starting to start doing some damage because they are anti-large and armor piercing which is exactly what we needed and uh, victory is in our grasp actually didn't do too badly although i suspect that had we not been in the intersection of two edges of the map things might have gone slightly differently um but if the ai is going to start throwing stacks of blackguard at me then i feel like i've kind of got to use every opportunity that i can so i'm going to say that my use of the two intersections of the edge of the map are is, is more than valid that's fine um, I'm okay with that. Hydra finally routing. There we go. The Dark Elves legging it. Our army has taken quite a chunk of damage, but we have been victorious. 
Go us. Okay, well, we dealt with that pretty well. All... Though mostly thanks to our artillery, because... I mean, the archer boys... Fuck all. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Good. Okay, that, that's, that's no problem. Should we take the replenishment? I think we should take the replenishment. We're taking the replenishment. We're taking the replenishment. Okay, you're there. Okay, so I just got called away um, to deal with an incident that I shall call... Well, let me put it this way. S Squidge, my little one, he was a bit bunged up. The incident... I shall call the poop explosioning, and there will be no further questions. Right, okay, so Sabareth is dead. That's good, because that army was flipping awful. And we've also got that Mizash. That guy. I might actually... Rank 7. I mean, it's, it's okay. What's your army like? Um, okay. I mean, your army's actually a lot smaller. I don't know what happened, but I'm glad it did. Uh, we could actually ignore that. Move you up. Let's get some magical support in this army. This is a bit ballsy, but we're going to do it anyway. And I think what I'm going to do is we're going to recruit Le Mizash, because it just makes sense to. We're going to give you that, 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 and that. Okay. I'm also going to give you two of these. And then we're going to book it. I'm going to book it over here. We're going to get one of them. And one of them to replace. Over here we're getting a couple of these boys. That should take a couple of turns. Right, okay, good. We got it going on. Right, do we do we take stro strong core? Yeah, we do. It's mine now, bitches. We've got the eyes of the desert and a forbidden rod. Do love me a good old forbidden rod. What's the public order here? Mm, it's not great. Events. Oh, right. Five more turns. Ugh, it's gonna kick my ass. But I think it was worth it. Maybe we can, um... Trade agreement? Fuck me, you actually accepted. Holy shit, Snacks. Wasn't expecting that. I thought it'd be like, No, creepy mummy man. Screw you. But no, he actually went for it. How about that? Um, okay, the other thing... I mean, we, we do have... can get a golden dagger a golden dagger might be fun well it's something isn't it it's definitely it's definitely something definitely not. what we can do here is because we can get the sepulchral stalkers do you know what yes Let's get them there, because then that makes that army kind of not shit, or not as shit, I guess. I'll take I'll, I'll take less shit. Uh, Katep, you're going to have... How much do we need for that? Four skill points. Uh, I guess we do this. I guess. Oh, we've got two skill points. Okay, sorry for... Down. Okay, we'll go with that as well. We'll go with that as well. You are going to have... Right. Banishment's supposed... A lot of people are saying banishment is great. So we'll get banishment. All right. 
If it's bad, I'm sulking. I mean, you probably won't notice, as I sulk a lot of the time, but still. Right, research-wise, what are we doing now? So, we could... Hmm. We could unlock another army, but that's like 19 turns. The other option is, I mean, Lich Priests... Tomb Princes... We could get a Tomb Prince. Do we need one? Or should we just, like, start... I don't really like Nehekaran Warriors. Tomb Scorpions, Sepulchral Stalkers, they're alright. Screaming Skull Catapults, Necropolis Knights, meh. Ushabti, hmm. Now, yeah, let's go Wisdom of the Sixth Dynasty, because that's... That's pretty legit. It's still going to take 19 friggin' turns. Um, it's quite a long time, but... You know what? I'll take it. We've now got four armies on... Hello. I've met, I've got the Age of Discovery, so we've met all these people who are probably now going to declare war on me. I can almost I can almost see it happening. They're just going to be like, yep, yeah, let's kill that guy. Maybe they won't. Maybe, you know, maybe we can be friends. Oh, you actually really like me because I don't like that. Okay, good. You want a trade agreement? I will take the trade agreement. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing? You're going after the ancient... Are you going after the ancient... No, you're just kind of like... Just just raiding. Just raiding me. All right. All right. That's what you want. If it's a little... A little kerfuffle you want, we'll give you a little kerfuffle. Uh, oh, good. So we've done that and got a little bit more money. We failed that, though. Oh, well. Who likes me? Not many people. Oh, you do. Call me Lord I should probably do by, by attitude. Clan Rictus do. Many storm vermin between me and you. You. Now well, make treaty pact. That's what I. That's what I want. Can we do that? Never, ever. Okay. Well, what about a trade agreement and less money, but still give me some money? Eight hundred. How about eight hundred? Very, very good. Thank you. Does no one else like me very much? Uh, I mean, what then? You are an abomination, and yet I must hear your words. A bit rude. Absolutely not. What about just trade agreement? As you say. Okay, that I'll, I'll take that. Not possible. Fine. Defender of truth. I fear your lich priests have done you a great disservice. I mean, I am a lich priest, I so it seems a bit. Just de oh God, they're such knobheads, aren't no. they? All right. Well, trade agreements Queen aren't bad. You are at war with... Okay, you're at war with um, with your honey bun. Again, Lord that's not the first time I've seen that. You're at war with a lot of people as well. Tyrannoch, you're at war with people I don't... Jeez, the High Elves are kicking the shit out of each other. They just All of the High Elves seem to hate each other. You don't. Is it true that nothing can live in the Hecara? I mean, no. Wise indeed. Thank you. Right, how are we doing now? Holy shit, look at that. Nine, 900 a turn. Holy balls. And we can make a whole bunch of shit now. Yeah, we can make a elixir of might, which is actually quite nice. Uh... God, if we can get carved obsidian. Van Brace of the Sun, very, very nice. More obsidian there. The Crook and Flail of Radiance. Holy balls. Double Crescent of... That's really nice. Holy crap. Melee attack. Should I craft? Yeah. Let's craft one of those bad boys. Trying to save is blessed by Minoru, goddess of the moon, who comes each night to protect the sons of the gods. There we go. That's a whole thing, isn't it? Um, That's really nice. Give that to you. Uh, you can have a luck stone as well for good luck and you can also have a scarecrow banner because that's the best banner in the world everyone knows it's the best banner it, it just, it's just the best banner in the world and you can also have evasion I think I'm half tempted to go straight for the temple of Cain public, I mean public order's not great here but it could be worse 
I think we need you up here. You're still recruiting, that's fine. I need you to deal with this, but what I'm going to do is just, like, sneak up behind you and see if we can lure you in. The moon shard writes. Let's get... Do I want to... Oh, it's just it's so expensive to upgrade this stuff. It's just, you know, pricey. This one is pricey. Could get the Tower of Bone. You know, who doesn't love a good old... You know, who doesn't love a good old boning, right? Good old... Good, 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 good old... Yeah, good. Okay, let's get some open graves here as well. You know, we get a Tower of Bone. It just go. I feel like the Tower of Bone and the open graves, they just bring the settlement together, you know? Really ties it together, which is very, very nice. Okay, so we've got the Tower of Bone and some open graves just being constructed. We've got a nasty Dark Elf what near the ancient city of Quintex. I'm not sure what it's doing, but I'm fairly sure that uh, King Rakash has got this. He's got it. We've also got King Lemizash. That's nice. He's getting all of the, the big Ushabti boys. They've got a lot of melee attack, actually. You know what we should do is give him the... The... No. No. That one. Let's give him that. Because you buff up those boys, so they're really good. So you're going to have that. And we're also pushing the dark... I'm tempted to actually keep pushing. Should we keep pushing? Nothing there. Fuck it, let's go for it. Go for it. Go, 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 go. Bop. And we shall occupy. Suck a dick, Dark Elves. You should all have stayed dead. Why well, are you here? Tough shit. We're not. Okay, we're pushing the Dark Elves. Now Hagrief is there. I feel like Hagrief probably has it doesn't really doesn't have much in the way of defenses, but if we push that, we're then potentially at war with Malekith, which might be bad time bear. So I might actually peace out with these guys. Maybe try and scoop up these settlements here. Because that be, could be quite nice. That maybe put us in a better position to uh, then to then finally mop up the Dark Elves. Feels, feels pretty good, actually. Feels like we're going in the right direction after the whole Mazda Mundi incident thing. The other incident as well. That we, we, will, we will not never mention the incident again. Do not think of the incident. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of the Katep Campaign.